In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use the resource manager to manage resources within a file. And by resources, I mean gradients, hatches, symbols, uh, textures, plants, and so on. But to arrange them in folders to make them more easily accessible and then to create a master library where you can store all of the ones that you have created or that you continue to create so that they're always accessible to you and possibly to other members of the team. We'll do this using favorites. But uh, we'll use the resource manager for this and I have three files currently open. The master library file which I've created uh, just to save a bit of time and file one and file, file two are files that I have some resources in that I want to bring into my master library file. I have also in the master library file already created some folders and some subfolders and I have also added this file as a favorite file. Now when you create a master library file because you're putting so much work into it it's really important that that file gets backed up so I would be saving this into my Dropbox folder or OneDrive or you know wherever it is that your files are going to get backed up so that if your computer dies or whatever you're still going to have access to them. And once you've created that file and saved it to one of those locations you can then use the action menu here to go add new favorite files and when you choose that an open file dialog will open and you can then navigate to where your um, favorite file or files are to add them and once they're added then they are permanently going to appear under the favorites section here so you can have one or more favorite files and you'll see that if I expand this and we look at the folder structure in here the folder structure is exactly the same. Now I can add resources to my favorites file or I can add, open the file and add resources to it here. So essentially these two things replicate one another but when you actually have the file open as opposed to just being in the favorites list it's best to be adding the resources to the open file because they'll then flow through into the favorites file. If you add them here you won't actually see that you've added them up here. And then we've got uh, our other two files here that's got our resources in it which I've already mentioned. Now how do we create these uh, folders? Well you just click the new folder button down here and wherever you're currently uh, Whatever you currently have selected, that's where the, um, the folder will be created. So when I create this new folder, it's going to be created at the root level of this file. So let's say in this case, I wanted to create uh, a sketch style folder. And so here we've chosen that type of folder. Sketch styles. Click OK. And here's my folder. And it's also pulled in a, a default um, sketch style, which is not in my sketch styles folder, which you can see if I select it there. So if we go back and click on the actual file itself, the way that I can put it into that folder is literally just to drag it either to there or over to here. And now it's gone and it's in that folder. You'll see if I select that folder now, that's where it is. So that's how you can uh, you can add these folders. If I wanted to add another folder within the plants folder, then I make that folder active. I go new folder. These are symbol folders, and you'll see it's selected symbol folder because we are already in a symbol folder. And if you change this to a different kind of folder, it won't create it in here. It will create it up at the root level because you can't put uh, have subfolders that are different types to the parent folder. So if uh, let's say for here we wanted ground covers. So we've now got these three folders in here. So that's how you create the folders. 
And once you have all of the folders created, you actually don't need to open this file anymore because you can just access it and drag resources into it uh, down here. Now you'll see that there's a difference between these two at the moment, and that's because I haven't saved this file that I have uh, that's currently active. So let's go ahead and do that. So that has the file saved. Command S from the keyboard. And now to update the favorites file, I need to come up to the action menu and go down to refresh libraries. Now, when you close a, uh, a favorite file, this process will actually happen automatically when, uh, when you close it. So now you'll see this just closed. And when I open it up again now, We've got sketch styles in there, and you can see that that sketch style that was created is in there already. So let's go ahead and close this master file, and we'll do the work that we need to do in the favorite section here. All right, so looking at file one, you can see we've got a mixture of resources in here. Uh, we also have some folders, and if I want this textures folder, and let's take a look at that textures folder, what's in there. So we have some textures in here. If I want that textures folder in my master library file, all I need to do is just drag it in there. And you can see with the progress bar down here, those resources are being copied across and it's got the textures folder in it now with all of those textures that were in it. So let's go back up to this file. Now we're gonna use the filter here and I just wanna see gradients. So we set it to gradients and now I can very easily, you'll see that the, the choices of folders to put these gradients into has now diminished. So keep your eye on this as I set this back to all resources. So now we can see all of the folders. When we set this to gradients, we're only seeing gradients. Now this is a, a trap for even experienced users to accidentally leave this on here and then wonder why you can't see the folders in here. So always look out for that. So if I select the first one, hold the shift key down, click on the last one, it will select them all. Alternatively, if I click in this window, I can do select all. That's Command A or Control A on a PC, and just drag those over there into my master library. And again, you can see the progress bar working away down here. That's writing to that file and saving the file. So we've got the gradients. Let's now look for hatches. So we'll set this to hatches. Again, we can click on the top one, click on the bottom one, or we can do a select all and then we can drag the hatches over here. So it's a very quick process to get this happening. And we'll set it back to all resources again. So what are the kinds of other kinds of resources? We've got a, lots of line types in here, these dash styles, and we do have a line types folder in here. So let's do that one next. And Again, I'll do a click in the window, do a select all, drag them over into the master file. Set this back to all resources. So we're doing we're doing quite well now. It gets a bit gets a bit trickier when you've got a mixture of things in here. So let's look at the symbols, for example, and. We have a mixture of symbols. This is typical, you know, there's a title block, um, there's plants, there's a north point, and you only want to see, uh, see the plants in here. Um, so there's a few ways that you can make this a bit easier. And we'll expand this because we're on symbol folders now. We're only seeing these symbol folders in here. So I can do a select all. And depending on what your situation is, this, what I'm about to show you, may be quicker or not. But if we do a select all, 
click in here, select all, and then I can hold the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC and deselect the things that I don't want. So when the majority of the thing that, uh, of the resources are the kind that you want, then it's actually quicker to just select them all and then just deselect the ones that you don't want. Alternatively, you can hold the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC and just pick out the ones that you want to so make random selection of items in the list and then drag those across. And sometimes this selection, depending on the appearance of these and the naming, it can be easier to do this if you set this to list view because you can actually see more of the, uh, the, the contents of the file. So I can continue to kind of randomly select things in here or select all and deselect as I showed a moment ago. I'm going to start by dragging these over into just the plants folder. Now I could have gone through and selected the trees and then the shrubs and then the ground covers. But now if I click on plants, you'll see they're all here. Now I can, I know I'm only seeing the plants. And so, you know, I, I'm just going to randomly select these. So let's say they were the, the ground covers. Then we'll do the next lot. You know, let's say they were the, the shrubs. And finally, the remaining ones were the trees. So I can drag those in there. Um, and so now we have ground covers, shrubs, trees. And if we go back to all resources, we've got gradients, we've got hatches, we've got line types, we've got the plants, as I just showed you. We've got a sketch style and we've got textures. And they're all organized in here. And so once... Once you've done this, then you can use these in any place in Vectorworks where you can choose any of these resources. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If I come down here and draw a rectangle and I put a hatch in there, and then I want to choose the hatch that I want, if I click on here where you would normally choose a hatch, here's my favorites file. If I open it up, only the hatches are visible. So now I've got direct access in here to all my hatches. And let's say that's the one that I want. And I put that hatch in there. Let's do that again. Let's do, this time we'll go with a gradient. And again, we'll click in here. We just want to see what's in the favorites here, which is gradients. And let's say that's the one I want there. Double click that and I've got that. So anywhere in the Vectorworks interface, I can now pull the resources all from this one favorites file. When I quit Vectorworks and open it again, the favorites are still gonna be there. And when you're working in projects and you create a new resource, then when you do that, it's very simple then to just drag it across into your master library file into the correct folder and you don't have to do anything else. So it's a, it's a really efficient system and well worth uh, setting up.